Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at maths revision for the year six SATs tests that are coming up very shortly. This video is going to be about a question that might come up in the reasoning paper, in one of the two reasoning papers, and it's all about symmetry and how we can answer questions that involve symmetry using the mirror that they're provided with in the test. All right, hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and leave a like to the video because it really helps the channel out. Thanks a lot, enjoy. Let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today, another session on Key Stage 2 Year 6 SATs revision. And today I'm going to look at some questions from the maths paper, paper 2 and 3, the reasoning papers. Now, I'm not going to go through a, the whole paper. If you check our channel, you can see a walkthrough of some of the, some of the papers where it goes through each question. But um, what I've been doing with the children in my class um, is looking at specific questions where, at this point, we can teach these things quickly to the children and they may come up in the test and they'll be able to score a couple of extra marks. These things will be like symmetry, data, interpre interpreting data, um, angles, measuring angles. I did a recent video on that. So I've, I've, what I've done is I've just picked out a couple of questions that I can go through with you today and you can show your child or go through them with your child so that if a similar question comes up, they'll know how to attempt them. So these are taken from the reasoning paper, okay, the the uh, paper two and paper three, so the second maths and third maths tests. So let's have a look at them. So the first question I want to look at is a symmetry question. Now the question says here, here is a, grid, a shape on a grid, okay? Again, I'm just gonna re repeat myself here, but these are taken from a SATS paper, so these are actual SATS questions. Complete the design so that it is symmetrical about the mirror line. Now, in the test, the children will get a protractor, okay, to help them with their angles questions and measuring angles. They're allowed a ruler and they're allowed a mirror, but nothing else. Obviously, a pencil to write with. Um, so for this question, the mirror comes in useful. Now, what they should do is this dotted line here, as you see it, is our line of symmetry. So they should be placing that mirror along the line of symmetry. And if you look in the mirror there, you can see how the shape should appear on the other side. Now, it's not exact, and if I tilt it like this, I'm going to have to look from this angle. Okay, so if I do that, you can see it more clearly. But you can see that it goes out three, three squares similar to this side. It's going to come in slightly. It's going to go down three and then join back up to the middle. So essentially, we need to make sure that through the line of symmetry, it's going to look like this on the other side. Now, even without the mirror, you can do this by just using your ruler and measuring exactly how it should look on the other side. So you can see here that it goes out three squares. So I need to make sure that it goes out three squares on the other side. I'm going to stop there. Okay. And then I can see that it goes in one here. So I'm going to go in one on a diagonal direction. And I'm going to go down how many squares? One, two, three. So I'm going to go down three squares. One, two, three from this point. And now, how it, what happens now is it's going to go from here back up to there. Okay, so I'm going to go from there back up to there. And then if you just take off your ruler, it should be that both sides now are symmetrical. This side should look exactly the same to this side. And if I put my mirror line here on the side and I check it, am I happy with that? Does it look the same? Yes, it does. Okay, and that would be one mark for just doing that and answering that question. So not a tricky under concept to understand, but if the children have never seen symmetry before or it's not something they've covered, then that's going to be something tricky for them. Another symmetry question is like this one here. These three square tiles have symmetrical patterns on them. Draw the line of symmetry on each tile. So essentially, there is a line of symmetry in each of these tiles where if we were to put the mirror down that line, it would look exactly the same on both sides. So can we see lines of symmetry? Right, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to try, does that look the same as that? No, that's not our line of symmetry. What if I was to go that way? Does that look the same? Yeah. So that tells me there is a line of symmetry down here. Notice how in the question it says use a ruler. So I'm going to put a ruler to draw my line of symmetry. And then I've got two other shapes to do. Is the line of symmetry the same way here? 
Does it look the same? No, it does not. What about if I go vertical? Does it look the same? Yes, it does. So I know that there's a line of symmetry straight down the middle because along that line, that side is exactly the same to that side. And finally, this one, horizontal? No. Vertical? No. So it must, I'm going to try diagonal. Is that the same as that? Yes, it is. So my third line of symmetry is a diagonal line. And again, once again, using a ruler. And if the line is not drawn straight, then they probably wouldn't get a mark. They have to put on that last line of symmetry. So two symmetry questions. Not difficult. Not difficult concepts. But if the children never seen them before, then they might not score marks on these. But that would be one mark for that one and one mark for that one. Let's turn over now and have a look at the next types of questions I've got here. So once again, another type of symmetry question. We've got here are five quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral just means a four sided shape. Doesn't have to have four equal sides either, like a square or two equal sides, like a rectangle, just has to have four sides. So all of these shapes have four sides. And it says for each shape, put a tick if the dotted line is a line of symmetry, put a cross if it is not a line of symmetry. So once again, for this question, you'd need to use your mirror to check. Does that look the same both sides? Yes, it does. So I would tick this shape. Does this shape look the same when I hold the mirror on that mirror line? No, it does not. That is not the same as that side. OK, if we can check again. If it was symmetrical, it should look like this. So that would be a cross on that one. This one. Is that the same? No, it is not. So that would be a cross on that one. This one. That one is the same both sides, so that is a line of symmetry. And finally, this one. Yeah, we have a line of symmetry there. So that will be tick, 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 cross, cross. And again, that will be a mark for that question. OK, so three different types of symmetry style questions for you to have a have a look at and see how I solved them. And these are SATS questions. So they'll probably something similar that comes up in the SATS test. OK. Thank you for watching.